Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Delhi Thoughts. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell so that you are notified of all my upcoming content. Today my Delhi Thoughts is on ageism in the workplace for baby boomers too. Those born between 1955 and 1965. So now let's get into my daily thoughts. In today's rapidly evolving job market, ageism remains a pervasive issue, disproportionately affecting baby boomers too. Those born between 1955 and 1965. Despite their wealth of experience and expertise, this demographic often finds themselves sidelined and undervalued in the workplace due to age-related biases. Some say age is just a number. However, people aged 45 and up who may find themselves facing age discrimination in the workplace might not agree. That's right. Even though this primarily is hitting baby boomers too, it is also hitting those Gen Xers who are over the age of 45. And this type of age discrimination is illegal, taking into account that most people think that age 65 is the right age for retirement. The trend of forcing people who are younger than 65 to retire early continues to gain momentum. The baby boomer two generation grew up during a period of significant social and economic change, witnessing the rise of technology and globalization. Many entered the workforce during the 1980s and 1990s, building their careers with dedication and commitment. However, as they reached their late 50s and 60s, they encountered unique challenges that hindered their professional advancement. While baby boomer twos may be perfectly capable of performing their jobs, there are some companies that view their aging employees as liabilities. Rather than find a way to work with their older employees, companies may be handing them pink slips. As they are on their way out the door, the company then brings in younger employees with less experience to replace the older employee. One of the primary obstacles facing baby boomers too is the pervasive stereotypes that associate older workers with outdated skills and resistance to change. All too often, employees buy into these ageist myths. Older workers have outdated skills. Employees in their 40s and up aren't willing to learn new skills, especially when it comes to technology. And people aged 40 and up are slower mentally and physically than the millennials and Zoomers who are younger and quicker. Despite advancements in fields such as healthcare, finance, and technology, many employers overlook the valuable contributions that older employees can make. This bias often leads to discriminatory hiring practices and limits opportunities for career growth. Ageism manifests in subtle ways within the workplace culture, perpetuating a sense of marginalization among baby boomers too. They may find themselves excluded from decision making processes, overlooked for promotions, or subject to microaggressions from younger colleagues. These experiences can erode morale and diminish job satisfaction, ultimately 
affecting overall productivity and retention rates. Another factor is the rise of the gig economy and contract-based work exasperates the challenges faced by baby boomers. While these individuals possess a wealth of knowledge and experience, they may struggle to compete with younger, more tech-savvy professionals in the freelance marketplace. As a result, many baby boomer twos find themselves navigating precarious employment situations with limited job security and benefits. Addressing ageism in the workforce requires a multifaceted approach that requires employers, policymakers, and society as a whole. Companies must actively promote diversity and inclusion initiatives that recognize the value of intergenerational collaboration, implementing age-neutral hiring practices, providing ongoing training, and upskilling opportunities and fostering mentorship programs can help bridge the gap between generations and create a more inclusive work environment. Policymakers play a crucial role in enacting legislation that can protect older workers from discrimination and promotes age-diverse workplaces strengthening anti-discrimination laws, enhancing access to affordable health care and retirement benefits, and investing in programs that support lifelong learning are essential steps towards combating ageism and promoting economic equity for baby boomer twos. On a societal level, Changing perceptions and challenging ageist stereotypes requires collective action and awareness. By highlighting the valuable contributions of older workers and celebrating the diversity of experience across generations, we can foster a culture of respect and appreciation for individuals of all ages in the workforce. Because people are living longer than the generation that came before them, the need to work and earn a living as they age is crucial. For example, baby boomers aged 57 to 75 who are forced into early retirement may exhaust their savings for their golden years simply by living longer. We're living in a unique period where five different generations potentially coexist in the workplace. Factors such as improved health care and delaying retirement credit results in employees born in the 1950s working alongside those born in the 1990s and even 2000s. Ageism poses significant challenges for baby boomer too in the workforce, hindering their professional advancement and contributing to systematic inequities. Addressing these issues requires a concerted effort from employers, policymakers, and society to promote inclusivity, diversity, and equal opportunities for all generations. By recognizing and valuing the contributions of older workers, we can create a more equitable and thriving workplace for generations to come. I hope my commentary in today's daily thoughts on ageism in the workplace for baby boomers, those born between 1955 
1965 has been interesting and helpful to you guys. I will leave additional information in the description of this video. Please leave me comments down in the comments section and let me know what you think. I'll be back the next time with more daily thoughts. Until then, I offer you peace and blessings from the West Side. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and please follow me on all of my other social media. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and on my spoken word channel here on YouTube, The Purple Diva Den. Until the next time, I'm out you guys. Bye.